Appointment card design. With any design, you need to understand what the main factors in the equation are. What, who, why, and how. First, what is the idea? With an appointment card, the what is to assist your customer in organizing and remembering a scheduled appointment. Next is who. This would be doctors, dentists, 4x4 shops, body shops, the list goes on, showing there is a need. Why? This ties into the first question. If the customers miss fewer appointments, the company spends less time rescheduling. Missed appointments are also gaps in billing which result in a loss of generated income. Finally, they also assist the customer in remembering that scheduled appointment. Last but not least, and the reason I'm posting this video, is how. With how, you also need to take into account the who, what, and why. Will the customer want a one-sided card or a two-sided card? With a two-sided card, they can have all the business card information on the front and just the appointment info on the back side. A one-sided card, on the other hand, is a little less expensive and you can still squeeze all the information back there. Why not kill two birds with one stone? It is a personal preference. As a designer, you can set up some templates that will cover all these instances and save yourself time in the future with any appointment card you produce. First, the two-sided card. I have already set up some artwork, but I will go through the steps and describe some of the options you can create with minimal time. First, here is a super basic appointment card, but once you have the elements, you can easily convert this dentist appointment card to a more upscale card for a wedding planner, for example. This was done with a quick font change. Next, if this is still too plain, condense all the information over to the right and you can add a graphic element, like I have done here with a quick lace illustration. The same card template can have the fonts changed again, and now it works for a tire shop. Just pop in a new graphic, and you're done. Now here are some examples of all-in-one cards. A single-sided press check appointment card. It has a logo, address information, and the appointment information all on one side. Next we can take that same template adjust the information to fit to the right two-thirds of the card and add a photo to fill the left one-third like this. You can then take that same basic layout enlarge the image to fill the entire back of the card and then take two boxes changing the opacity and setting them on top of the image. The top box is set to multiply. The bottom box is set with an opacity of 90%. That way they still have plenty of area to write, but the image still continues in the background. You can then take that same card and pop in a different image, and you have a card for a 4x4 shop. You can adjust the color in the top box by using the eyedropper and pulling color out of the image file so that it all matches. As you can see, there are multiple ways to set up templates for later use creating appointment cards. You can also utilize a library with artwork set up in advance. I'll show you that now. Now that we have all these templates set up, go to the file menu and select New Library. Drag all these items into your new appointment card library. You do this by hitting Select All and then drag it into the library. The next time you have a project requiring an appointment card, it will be a snap. In conclusion, you can see designing appointment cards can be easy when you stay prepared. Thanks for watching.